The crunch is a very popular exercise that can be effective, but it's oftentimes performed incorrectly. You'll see people here going for speed and not really paying attention to what their core is doing or yanking their head with their hands or trying to go so high just to get height, but again, not focusing on what's happening through their actual core. So to do these correctly, lay on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. From here, I think it's really important to start just understanding what it's meant to feel like when you are engaging your core. So to begin, we'll just do some breathing. Place your hands on your belly with your thumbs on your rib cage and your hands on the soft part of your belly. From here, when we inhale, we wanna feel expansion through our belly and through our rib cage into our hands. And then we'll talk about the exhale. So first, just inhale. Nice and exhale. Now what's meant to happen on the exhale is engagement all the way down from our pelvic floor up as though we're sucking through a straw up through our core, wrapping our rib cage in and down. Okay, so let's do that again. Inhale and now exhale. Hold the contraction through your abs for a second. You should feel a bit of tension through your abdominals when you press against them. You should be able to breathe here, but you should feel that core engagement, okay? So we want to replicate that as we're going into the crunch, okay? So in the crunch, you can have your hands back here behind your head. If you tend to yank your head up though, then maybe that's not the best option for you. You can have your hands on your shoulders. You can have them on your thighs, just kind of crawling up your legs. When we do the crunch as well, we wanna focus on lifting our shoulder blades up off the floor, but you don't have to go much higher than that. I'd rather you focus on what's happening here than going up really, really high with this exercise. The last thing I want you to think about here when we come up into our crunch is that our abdominals are not going to be pressing out or down through our pelvic floor. In fact, our pelvic floor is going to be engaged. We're gonna have our abdominals really kind of flatten down as we exhale and come up. All right, so get that hand position going. Inhale, and now exhale. You can feel your core working here, and lower down with control. You can see me going nice and slow to really focus on what's happening here through my core, and my core is also controlling as I go back down. So I'm not going up and then dropping, right? And that is how you perform a crunch.